Hello, Jesse Delvecchia. How about that win? Getting the pin of top seeded Ryan Deacon of Northwestern in 318. How do you feel? I, I feel great. Um, felt nothing like that before. It was just amazing. And uh, I just feel honored and uh, so happy to be wrestling here. If media did not hear on the broadcast, Jesse is the first ever finalist for a writer. What sort of reaction do you have to hear in that? Uh, it's crazy. Um, I have such good coaches, and um, I'm just so happy to have them, and they really have uh, changed my career, and I'm just so thankful for that. We've got some questions lined up for you. First up, Mike Finn, Win Magazine. Jess, you just got done saying you've never been this happy. Is this the, your biggest victory you've ever had? And also, can you describe what wrestling and writer is about? Your head coach was a former writer wrestler who that been in this tournament. What is it? What is the atmosphere there that we do not know? Um, we're all just really tough people. Um, we're tough and we know how to have fun. So it's a good mixture and it made me really love the sport again. So I just, uh, I love having them around both Nick and Angie and Wolf and they're just such great coaches. So um, yeah, it's just a different environment. We have uh, great guys in the team and just love everything about it. Uh, yeah. Mike, do you have a follow-up? Yes. Um, could you just do me a favor? Could you try to sit, go back to see how you set up that pin? And was that Deacon, do you think he wasn't familiar with you enough to know what you were doing? I'm not really sure. Uh, that's just my move. I've been hitting the crab ride since I was five years old, so I'm just confident on top. I believe in myself. I know I could turn anyone. And uh, I got, got to my crab ride. It was tight, and I was getting some back points, and... I just went for the pin. I got it. It was a great feeling. All right. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Kyle Klingman, track wrestling. Go for it. You were at Binghamton, and then you took a year off, and then you went to Ryder. Will you take us through that scenario and why you made those decisions? Yeah, so um, I left Binghamton. Pretty much hated the sport. Uh, hated life for a little bit, but uh, I, I fixed and uh, lifted myself back up, and wasn't really sure if I wanted to wrestle again or not. And I just uh, really had nothing going for me at the time. So I was like, you know, I might as well just wrestle. And uh, went to Ryder. No, no other schools wanted me. Everyone was telling me I'd be a walk-on. Um, I'd love to name some schools right now, but I won't do that. But uh, yeah, no one really uh, believed in me besides Ryder. And I went here, and uh, the rest is history. James Cratch, New Jersey Advanced Media. Go right ahead. Hey, Jesse, I guess what's going through your mind when you get the pin and then the whole review process? I, I got to imagine it's kind of strange to have the biggest moment of your career and then have it hanging in limbo like that. Yeah, uh, that scenario has been reviewed like five times against me throughout the last two years. Every coach thinks I, I left my feet up off the ground, but I'm very, uh, I just make sure I keep at least one foot on the ground and I was confident I did there. So I wasn't too worried, but I was starting to get a little nervous when it was taking a while. So I guess, are you five for five or whatever it is every time it gets upheld? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, go ahead. Got to follow up. If we could go back to that year you took off, what did you do during that year? Did you work? Did you hang out? What was it? I worked with my dad doing construction. I wasn't too fun. Uh, had a girlfriend and I was enjoying that and then uh, she broke up with me so I thought maybe I should start wrestling again because there's nothing else happening and uh, yeah that's actually pretty much why I started wrestling again so I guess it worked out. <laughs> All right Jesse things might have been troublesome for you in the past but they're going right for you now. Congratulations on your win and we look forward to watching you tomorrow night. Thank Writers you. first ever finalist.